everyone. Who couldn't use a good stretch? I'm gonna do a little yoga with you. Just a few minutes. Move my chakras, my stones, my beautiful crystals off of my mat. And let's begin. We're gonna need to put your hands there into the prayer position. Tight to your chest with your thumbs pressed into your chest bone. I will want you to breathe and lift and over. Lay down flat in front of you. And bring yourself to a downward dog. Work out those little kinks that you have. I have rheumatoid arthritis, as everyone may or may not know. And this is one of my biggest assets. Just doing a little bit of yoga to keep my joints moving. My body in motion stays in motion. This is a lizard pose. You can pull your foot up further to get into your lizard pose, or you can leave it back. It's a hip opener, and I like it back right now because I'm going to go back up it into a downward dog. And you press your heels towards the floor. Your hands are in front of you. Make sure your fingers are spread wide open. And you're looking at your belly button, and your belly button is pressing up towards the ceiling or the sky. And we should walk, jump to the front, however you want to get there. Give your legs a good hug. Sit down in a comfortable position, and let's begin. I'm going to do a few neutral stretches modify them to work for you best but reach up with your right hand and down to the mat with your left I want you to reach over to the left wall with your hands your right hand reaching for the left wall looking up towards the sky you to twist your body slightly to get a good rotation come out of it and you need to counter stretch. I want you to place your right foot on your left shin and reach up with your left hand and over. Looking up towards the sky or the ceiling, reaching towards the right wall with your left hand. Really opening it up. Reach up and counter stretch. I have six herniated discs in my neck, so I do need to work on my neck a lot. So I tap it with my fingers just to tickle it and keep it active. You see tickling does relieve the pain and it works. It does, but we can't all do this all day. So yoga is a great option. I've been doing yoga for well, 15 years now. And I find it to be a huge asset to my day. I just heard my daughter open the back door, so sorry, we're having a normal day here. You're all just here joining us. <sighs> Breathe. This is a good hip opener as well, keeping your feet as close in as possible to your sits and your loop. Hold on to your feet and try to lean over. And pull your knees together, stretch your legs out, and press your chest towards your top of your thighs, reaching your hands, walking them out will bring your body down closer and closer to your legs. You have to keep your legs flat, your knees flat, everything needs to be flat to the floor. 
elbows pressed against the floor, walk yourself up, up to the top, reach up, sky, hands in prayer position, bring it to the chest, namaste. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite, favorite yoga poses. It's actually a great stretch. Um, it's called the compass. Let's just do it. And then I'm gonna leave you with this for today. So we're gonna bring in our left leg, bend it at the knee, cradle it in your arms like so. And you're just opening it up, just open it. Open up those joints and you'll see why in a moment. I'm gonna pop your knee up over your shoulder, plant your left hand on the floor, grab a hold of the outside of your foot with your right hand, Look in the position you want to go, always up and over, stretch it, and lock it in, and look to your right. Keep your sits bone planted on the floor, and turn, turn, breathe, try to look towards the back wall. so good you just have no idea how much you're doing it with me this is the compass i'm going to come out of it and we are going to again counter Whew. stretch over your knees put your chin on your knee and you'll feel that great stretch it's a good sweet burning pain it's a pain that's necessary good pain is good pain the rest of it, you don't need it. Shake that leg out. Keep that left leg stretched out. Lift up your right. Cradle it at the knee. And ankle. I have really bad RA and osteoarthritis in my feet. They're terribly painful. And I've lost all use of my thumbs because I just don't use them. They're very painful. Um, I can't say I've lost all use of them. I just don't use them as much. So I don't have any tissue or muscle left in there. Nothing. Um, but I do use them. It just causes me a lot of pain. So we're going to lift this over our shoulder. Our right leg goes over our right shoulder. Plant your right hand on the floor firmly. Grab hold of the outside of your foot with your left hand. Look in the direction you're stretching always until you get into your pose. Then I need you to turn to your left side, stretch, pull, give the resistance. Your hand should be pulling, your foot should be pushing against it to try to stretch your arm, your hand, your neck, your feet, your leg. Everything is in the compass position. And you're looking and those obliques on your left side are stretching and your sits bone is planted and your leg is out straight on your left side. And you're in that pose. And you're breathing. Your neck should be free to move. Don't ever put the weight of anything on it. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Counter. Mm -hmm. Knee to knee. Stretch over with your chin. Your hands can reach out. It gives a more intense, deeper stretch. You can modify it if you can only go to here. You're still stretching. You're doing the same thing I'm doing. You're modifying it for your body, your needs. There is no judge zone in yoga ever. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it perfectly. If it's hurting you in a way where it's your bones, you're doing it wrong, don't do it. And don't try to compete when you're doing yoga. Always use this behind your knee or your ankle if you need to. Just get a towel, wrap it, and that's how you can use it. So now that we've stretched, I can show you how to use this if you're going onto your knees and you're having a little trouble with your knee. Just wrap it in a towel on a band and then you can lean on it and you can stay down on your knees getting into these poses with a lot less pain so now I'm doing my scapula everything you need from here is stretching and pinching and pulling and we are Come up into a cat-cow position. 
We don't need to be doing cat cows, but we can do one cat. And one cow. Just because it feels so good on my belly and my abdominals are stretching. And now we're gonna stretch it back. And one more cow. Cat cows are fun. And then we're going to sign out of here soon. Oh, this feels so good. We do a cobra pose. Your hands should be aligned right underneath your shoulders and pressing. Your feet can be activated by leaving them up in the pose, or you can deactivate them by putting your knees down and your feet flat to the floor. And then I want you to go into the Maybe a little baby position. Hmm. One more, and we can sign off. So I want you to lift up with your right hand. It's hard to lean with that. Lift up with your right hand, and you're going to like a needle thread it through underneath your left. Oh, I'm feeling all of that pull in here. It's stretching, which means it's opening up your scapula in the back of you as well. Come here. Hmm. Bring it out the same way you get in. And we're going to switch positions now. Reach up with your left. And we're going to needle right there. Let's thread it like a needle. Yep. <laughs> Pulling that scapula away, giving you a good stretch, and then back out the way we came, and voila, I want you to get into a comfortable pose, hands up, reach up, palms together in a prayer position, and I want to tell you all what a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful day it is. To have all of you here and watching me and feeling connected is really what we all need right now. I know everyone feels a little disconnected, but I want you to find your happy place. If it's doing yoga with me, if it's finding your place within your home that makes you happy, just look around. There's signs everywhere that there's something new coming. There's hope. There's peace. There's plenty of prosperity to go around. We might all come out of this as equals, um, the way we should always be. But we need to remember and be humbled by these experiences that there's somebody larger than us controlling it all. And I'm most enjoying this time because I think it's a time for change. And I think it's a time for people to reconnect with what their true essence and true meaning of life must be. If you're going too fast, too far, and you think that you've achieved it all, it's very humbling now for you to be planted at home. Um, I find it very comforting to be at home and having my children. I know where they are. I wanted them to be raised in a bubble anyway to protect them from the world. <laughs> but any of you that are in pain or that are in agony or that are suffering in any way, please Go to my podcast now and download it. It's absolutely Danielle underscore podcast on Instagram. Or you can go to absolutelydanielle.com. And I look forward to seeing you all over there. And I will be keeping my eye out for you. My other Instagram account is absolutely Danielle underscore podcast. It is not run by me, but I do have access and I will get in there and see if there's any messages for me to answer personally. But otherwise, I wish you all a very, very wonderful day and enjoy this time that you have. Really seriously enjoy it. And namaste. Whatever your intentions are, put it out to the universe because it's yours already. Ashanti, shanti, shanti. Love and light, everyone.